It's now my honor and pleasure to welcome our U.S. special guest and friend, the Honorable Ted Yoko of Florida, ranking minority member of the Subcommittee on Asia, House Foreign Affairs Committee. He visited Indonesia several times to promote U.S. trade and investment, a key issue for him. In fact, the first time I met him was in the U.S. Ambassador's residence in Jakarta. <clears throat> He's sponsoring he sponsored bipartisan legislation to support expanded and consolidated U.S. government development finance and international trade into one new full-service self-sustaining agency, U.S. International Development Finance Corporation, DFC. It's now in business, and we're going to hear from its new CEO, Adam Bowler, in a few minutes uh, tonight. Chairman Yoho, we warmly welcome you, and we welcome your interest in Indonesia and your remarks tonight. Um, 
I, I rather just talk from the heart. You know, I've often said, and I've learned this early, is we like to do business in the private sector as a veterinarian and other businesses my wife and I own, is we like to do business with people we know, people we like, and people we trust. I don't need to talk to you about what's going on in the world. You all know it. You know, the world is dividing. We're seeing a shift in the world we haven't seen since World War II. People are aligning up. There's a, an assault on Western democracies. There's other people, you know who they are, offering other forms and offering other ways of doing business. But it goes back to who do you know, who do you like, who do you trust? And so what I want to do is lock arms with the Indonesians. And we've had so many of your people come into our, company, into our office talking about what we can do to strengthen our alliance. And if that alliance is stronger, you have better security, you have better peace in the world. And so those are the things that we want to focus on. And I was honored to be able to sponsor the BUILD Act. And, uh, you know, again, it was a team effort. Uh, Maria, you and Ed, and the whole Foreign Affairs team. And the thing that made me the most proud about this is, number one, I got past it. <laughs> The thing that made me most proud about this is it was bipartisan in the House. It was bipartisan in the Senate. And that showed, not just to the American people, but to the rest of the world, that Congress can work when they put a, a, a goal out there and a vision. What's not just best for this country, but what's best for the world? And this is something that hopefully we can utilize. Because what I want to do is I want to focus on one of those things that are going to make us stronger, that we can invest in major in infrastructure projects that's best for Indonesia. And if we do that, you know, the infrastructure, the manufacturers come in, the economies, the jobs grow, uh, products are created, the trade develops. And the more that we can diversify our trade between us, the stronger we are amongst all of us. And that sends a strong signal. I don't have to worry about what another country is doing if we don't line up. I want to look at the countries that we are focused on, that we can work together to make that stronger. Because I know if we're all stronger together, we're all better off. And um, we went through a transition period from OPEC. We authorized in 2018 through the BUILD Act to develop the creation of the U.S. Uh, International Development Finance Corporation. I was so proud to see the President's budget that had $700 million. Don't let him know this. We would take them less. <laughs> but we ain't giving them back. And then we had to find somebody to direct this. And, and there was a person there, and we had become pretty close. And I liked that guy, and he had a lot of energy. And then they said this other name. And I'm like, I don't know that guy. And they said, I said, what's his name? And they said, this uh, Adam Bowler. I'm like, oh, oh I'll meet him. <laughs> he came to our office. And he looked, he was so excited, he, he was so excited, he looked like a giant goose pimple. He was just standing there, he was so excited, he was talking about all these things he wanted to do. And I says, you know what, um, what we'd like to do is like go into the North Triangle, Central America, he goes, I've already been there. I said, well, what about this over here, because I've already been there. And sure enough, I talked to the ambassadors from those areas, they said, he's been here, we love this guy. Adam has got a great vision. From his background, he's got his lovely wife here, so her song and I said, I'm sorry. Say, Shira, who we got to meet, and my staff was really impressed with her. She's here working by his side. He has got a vision where this country needs to go. Congress did the right thing by creating a tool, and Keith, you talked about this, of all the tools we have, this is a, a, the newest tool. And Adam, um, I, I can't tell you how excited we are. We look forward to working with you. In my next 11 months in Congress, our goal is to make sure this gets rolled out properly so that the world knows that America is here to stay, that we're 